Hi, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to see how to download XAMPP and set, set up the software. And the second thing we are going to see is how to view any PHP website using XAMPP. And the third one is how we are going to import a .sql file into the XAMPP in PHP MyAdmin. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to Google and then type XAMPP for Windows. And I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download the software for Windows. But if you're using any of the operating systems like Mac OS or Linux, you have to download the software appropriately. Now click on the first link and you'll see a, a lot of versions. The, the one that I would recommend is downloading the latest one. So I would download this one because I'm using Windows. I'm downloading this one. So there is availability for Linux and OS 10 as well. Now download the first one, download this link. And you can download it anywhere. I'm going to put, put it in downloads. While this is downloading, I just want to tell you guys that this is this is a process that has been done on a Windows operating system, but this is applicable to any of the operating system that you are using. But there might be a certain tweaks. I'll make sure there are articles down below in the description box so that you can check it out for your OE specific installation process. All right, now the software is downloaded. Just click on the link, it will open it up. Click yes. All right, click OK. And then click next, uh, next. Here you can install it in the def default. So, uh, so here you can install it in the default folder and that is C colon Sazam. But if you want to install it in any other drives that you wish for, you can change it, change it up right here. But I'm going to leave it as the default setting. And I'm going to use English and then click next and then click next. Now this installation process is going to take some time so you need to uh, be patient about it and I hope uh, depending upon the PC speed it, it might take some time but let's wait for it until the installation finishes. Cool. Now the installation is finished. Now click finish and then it will start the control panel now. If you want to start you can uh, leave, leave it like that. But if you don't want to start right now, you can just uncheck it. But I'm going to start the control panel right now. All right, guys, so the control panel is open. The first thing that you want to do is hit start on these three things that I would like to do just to be just to be safe. And then click allow access so that it click allow access so that it uses the firewall. When, the, when these three are green, it means that all of the services are active. Now, if you want to really check whether this is working or not, all that you have to do is open a tab and then type in localhost slash dashboard and when this page comes up you're good to go so the reason that this web page is opening up is because of what you have installed in a c colon xamp now if you go to your c colon xamp which is where i have installed my software you can if you go into HD docs and then you can see this folder like dashboard and that is why this web page is actually opening now this is a perfect segue for me to show you guys how to use your custom made web application using xamp and how that you can do by copying your folder for me it's a password vault and this has my website files apparently i cannot show you it's because of the coursework that i'm doing and i'm not allowed to show any of the code base but if you copy this folder and then paste it inside the hdocs folder you can see this this, this folder name is password vault and if i type localhost slash password vault it will open my website and this is my actual website now for this website to work for me i have to install data meaning that i have to uh, you know upload some data, uh, tables into the database so that the login and register function actually works and if you want to use tables and databases for that you have to use something called php my admin which is inbuilt in xamp server for for you to access that what you can do is you can type local post slash php my admin and when you hit that you will be presented with this ui and the first thing that you want to do is you can click new this is going to actually create a new database and for me the database name is password vault and hit create now you leave it leave it to the default settings and it automatically uh, selects password vault and now that there are no tables found in this database we are going to import some tables using a file called, file with an extension .sql and for you to use that all that you have to do is click import and then click here to choose a file and then go to your location where you have the .sql file and then click open now what you have to do is click go and then 
this is going to upload all of your tables and then get all of your values get the values inserted create the tables for you and these tables will automatically be cre created and that's it that's it for the installation this is the installation of xamp and this is how you set up databases and this is how you run your web app in using your xamp server thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one